What is going on everybody? Brett Lespeed here, back again with another tutorial. Now today, in this video, we are going to be running through the defendweb.net, uh, which was um, previously at this at Coda UK. They changed the website, so I'll have to change the name of the previous videos I made too. Uh, today we're going to be running through the sequels. Um, wait, I don't have internet. Just give me a second. I don't have internet. How am I supposed to do this without internet? I'll keep connecting. All right, all right. So today we're gonna be working on those two uh, um, uh, SQL problem they gave us. So we're gonna start with the first one. So on the first one, they said they're saying uh, gain access to any user account. Okay, uh, I completed this one two years ago. I've been slack enough, like I'm not very regular because because of some reasons. Anyway, uh, today to, the way to do this, since uh, they're talking about SQL injections, if you you can do research about SQL injections, uh, you're gonna find out that uh, the something that is very common is proving that uh, like proving an evidence. So in this case, you can do, um, you can say or one equals one, okay? So the way to understand this, I mean, by proving that it's an evidence, it's something that is very obvious. It's like one equals one. Now, these, um, how do you call these things? These apostrophes, like you gotta take them as this apostrophes, this these two apostrophes are for the R. So you got R and you got apostrophe for equal. So it's like you're saying you're canceling this and you're canceling this. It's like you're saying one equals one. So here we're gonna try uh, to know if a secret if uh, um, a login page is vulnerable to to a secret injection, you can just Type apostrophe and hit enter, and there you go. There you go. There's them. They're gonna show you an error showing some um, SQL query. So from there, you know that the, the page, I mean the, the login page, is vulnerable to SQL injection. So you can put whatever username you want. I'm gonna put admin, and here I'm gonna just copy and paste this thing. So I just copy, paste, and hit enter. And it doesn't work. If it doesn't work, it's probably because of spaces. So I'll remove the spaces, and I guess this should be correct. Let me try this again. Paste this. Admin. Hit enter. Still not working. Okay. So I'll remove these spaces. Copy. Paste. Admin, hit enter. What? Why is this not working now? Let me check this. Or one equals one. Maybe or this way. Hmm. Very weird. That's bizarre. This is weird. Apostrophe or one apostrophe equals apostrophe one. The fuck? It doesn't work with copy paste. It doesn't work with copy. If you copy paste, it's not gonna work. You gotta type it. I don't know why. I don't know what's the exact reason, but it's not working. I typed it and then it worked. Okay. So moving on to the next one. The next one is here. The SQL level two. Okay. Now, on, now on this uh, on this one. They ask us the same thing, gain access to an administrator account. Okay, so 
we're gonna try the same thing where you're gonna just type um, apostrophe here, hit enter, and here this time it doesn't work. Okay, so we gotta look towards something else. All right, so what they gave us is this. We can browse through members so by clicking, so we click in, click in. Okay, so the more we click in, while keeping on that. Keep keeping an eye on the on the URL here. Then we 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 keep noticing that it changes every time I press a letter, it changes over here. So that means we can do something about this. There is something we are going on here. We can exploit. So I will just type the same apostrophe here again to see if something happens. And when I hit this, and we get we get uh, an error saying this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy this and paste it here. Okay? So now from here, we got to know that uh, there is a column named username, admin, and there's a table named member. Okay? Okay, that's good. Now, what are we gonna do? So let's click here. So we got this. We're gonna use the the union, which is a SQL operation. I mean, yeah, a SQL command for to for, to combine to combine um to combine results. So we're gonna use a uh, union. So union. Um, we're gonna do select. What we got here? We got username, admin. Username admin, okay. Username admin, okay. Username admin. So you're gonna do select username ad admin from members. The members, yes, members. And then we finish with a semicolon, okay. Always remember that every time you're using you're using something that is for a SQL, you need to put it, you need to put it on um, before and after a plus symbol. So select needs to be before a plus and after a plus. I mean, you know what I'm saying. So hit enter. And here now we got all the users. We can browse through all of them. So now we got all of them, but we still don't know which one is the admin. Okay, we still don't know which one is the admin, but Something that's also unknown is that, uh, like we know, we, what we know is that there is a user name, there is a user among all those that is the admin. So we're gonna force it, we're gonna force it. So if we say uh, this, select admin from members, okay? Let's try this, hit enter. And it doesn't work. It's telling us that we need two parameters. Com that's compulsory. We need to have two parameters here. So what we're gonna do have to do now is that we gonna say select admin, and we're gonna force it. We're gonna try to force it. Admin as the username. Okay. And also display. Uh, what are you gonna display? Say admin, or let's try username. Hit enter. Okay. We get a lot of zeros. Interesting. And we have a one. So we got false, 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 false. And we have a one here that is true. Okay. So one of, so among all those, one is true. So, um,. We're gonna do something else here. Select admin as username. Where, okay, we're gonna have to put the where, okay? We're gonna put for members plus where admin equals one. Hit enter. Hmm, it's still displaying. Okay, it only displayed this one. Okay, so we are gonna change it back to here. We're not gonna say admin as admin, we we'll say username. We're gonna put it back to where how it was previously. So you're gonna say username and admin. 
select username and admin from members hit enter sweets sweets we got this now we got this we got bell amount okay so bell amount is the the admin okay so now we got this we're gonna just no i'm not gonna save it i'm just gonna keep it because previously when i when i copy paste it didn't work so i'm not gonna copy paste so we got bell amount so it's gonna be bell amount so we're gonna say select oh we need a password too okay we're gonna say we're gonna force that too we're gonna force it we're gonna say select password as and we're gonna force it as a username <laughs> uh and then we, yeah select password as a username and display admin from member okay click enter nice we got this and as you can see it's encrypted okay it's encrypted but the problem is that we don't know uh, we don't know which encryption it is it using md5 sha256 or whatever we don't know what we don't know what it's using so we're gonna come here we're gonna say uh encryption decryption two maybe see let's see if we can find something um let's try this one um, i'm not sure if this is gonna work decrypt nope not working okay uh, I thought I was gonna find this but I know I know one that is crack station so crackstation.com so crack station provides you with uh, the capability to just wait I think I got the wrong one let me just put it in crack station okay okay this is the one this is the one so here you have the you don't need anything you don't need to specify if it's you don't need to specify the encryption type so you just put whatever you want to encrypt or decrypt usually decrypt decrypting decryption and you say that you're not a robot and then it's gonna automatically find it for you say they ask for crosswalk this one two three crosswalk 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 again and verify and here we go it's found it and it's sub 3r sub 3r all in all in low case sub 3r so let me come back here so if i remember it was in the b and it was something like a mount bella mount bella mount bella mount okay bella mount and it was sub 3R and hit enter and congratulations now you got it all right so this is how uh, you saw the defendweb.net uh, SQL exercises I mean the, the program they, they gave us if you liked it if you learned something make sure to hit the like button subscribe and I'm gonna see you in the next video peace